So what have you thought up now, Brad? WikiLeaks is run by the CIA and the Pentagon. Oh no, not another conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theories are just conspiracy theories, Oscar. Oh, I see. It's perfect, don't you see? It's so obvious. Okay, let me spell it out to you. All that secret stuff WikiLeaks has released paints America as diplomatically inept, warmongering, psychopathic, paranoid, schizophrenic, overweight, evangelical Christian state that takes itself far too seriously, right? Yeah, and? That's the trick, see? It's all about accelerating the inevitable. Which is? Armageddon. The Christian final solution. Global war. You know there's a hell of a lot of money to be made out of war. Just ask Dick Cheney. He made so much money out of Halliburton, he had a heart attack. And we need cash, real quick. And the religious right, <laughs> they're kind of losing their grip, you know, what with the child abuse scandals in the Catholic Church and all, and the Pope being such a knobhead and saying weird stuff to make God himself roll his eyes, not to mention Tony Blair hijacking God. Religion drives America. Religious belief is in the DNA of the American culture. They trust God will save them from a disaster they are creating themselves, which is kind of ironic. And God don't exist unless you think he does, which they do think he does, so he does, even though they can't prove it because he's invisible, if you know what I mean. Mm, I think so. So the states have been trying for decades to wind up several nations into conflict by imposing untested Western values and democracy on ancient cultures that have survived for thousands of years. Just they happen to have oil. And they failed miserably. Which means Western Christianity is watching Armageddon drift away in the distance like a lonely water lily cut from his roots. But that ain't gonna happen. It's time to kick ass. That's why they launched the WikiLeaks missile. Oh, come off it, Brad. Piss the whole world off in one hit. Boom, boom. That's two hits. America is like a gobby drunk at a party. You know, the one who pisses everyone off all night and ends up challenging everyone to a fight and then falls over. But WikiLeaks is owned by Julian Assange, Brad. He's the fog guy. It ain't no mistake he's a Frenchman. He's an Australian. Oh, yeah? The signs don't sound like no Aborigine blood to me. You're right.